think about where your team is so most of your team is either in sight or banana side upstairs so that would tell you okay no one is taking the gunfights on site or banana side so that would tell me that they're going to come from square side because the doc just died there and i have teammates on the opposite side of the map and no one's i don't hear any gunshots from there so don't What is going on guys, A21 Mayo here today, I'm bringing episode number 12 of the Viewer VOD Review series. Now, most of you know from the last video that I made, and if you don't know, I'm going to say it again, I closed my Google Form link because I have so many VODs to review, I have over 40, so I closed it because of those reasons. I'm going to try my hardest to do them as fast as I can and put out the content as fast as I can. I know you guys love this series. But it is very time consuming for me to do, so I hope you understand. Um, and with that being said, there are also links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, as well as my tip video playlist down below. Make sure you guys go check those out. And with all of that out of the way, we can move on to the VOD itself. So, this VOD was submitted by Silently Tilted. It is a bank game and it is on PC. So, with all of that, Intel. Let's jump into the VOD. Alright, so you're going Habana, which is good. Um, you're the only hard breacher on your team right now. Uh, whoever's going to Maru is, is low-key throwing, but hey. We'll move past that. You have the Cali for the Cades, which is good. Um, so I'm assuming you're solo queued. Because I'm not seeing any... Your drone has found not hearing anyone talk. Um, and I'm not hearing you talk, so I'm assuming you're solo queued. And that's probably why you went Habana. Yeah, so you're, you're I'm assuming, yeah, you're definitely solo queued because you're talking in game. Alright, so Doc, okay, so Doc ran out square and he no vigils in open area. So, you know, the last person is most likely a maestro. Or an Echo, or a Valkyrie, for an Intel op. Uh, I think he said Maestro's dead. Whoever just killed that. Whoever just killed that uh, person. So you droned. You droned open, you know it's clear. Vigil was around this area. So you gotta look out for it. Okay, so we, yeah. So yeah, I was correct on my suspicion about them yeah, having a Valk my shore echo. It seems like wall hack, guys. Hmm. So you didn't you didn't drone a rat corner. That's what happened there. Um taking open area on banks solo is really difficult because it's an extremely open area, no pun intended, with a lot of corners to sit in. So you have I mean there's like it feels like there's endless places the, the the defenders can sit in. And that's only open area. You also have to drone kitchen. And you have to check the hallway over here as well. So taking the solo is really difficult. Um, I definitely would have droned a little bit deeper into open area. Um, in these rooms here. And admin over here. Uh, actually, it's over here. Um, on this side, over there on the right. Uh, so definitely check your rat corners. Check uh, places where defenders can sit in. That... They feel like they're safe, and I mean that's the main reason you died there. You played it well. Um, it's just unfortunate events leading up one to another. You try to take open area, you droned it, uh, not as thoroughly as you should have, and it ended up getting you killed. So take that out of round one, and let's move on to the next round. All right, so you're changing it up here. And you're bringing the IQ instead of the Hibana. So they're going to go... Oh, you want... You, your team won the last round. Okay, that's good. So the problem... I have a sneaking suspicion that they're going to go back downstairs. So you're changing your spawn. Um, you're spawning jewelry or parking. I... Are you going to try to crouch walk through garage? This is a little bit... This is a little bit, uh, risky because you have the diffuser, and I don't, I don't know if you know that you have the, the diffuser. Okay, so they have the Valk again. 
And you see the Maestro cam there as well. Your mission is to locate and defuse a bomb. Alright, so this time you're checking your rat corners, which is good. Um, you're droning garage. You're not calling it out though, I think the Zofia left. Yes, she did. She went through loan. Okay, so I think you noticed that the Zofia left as well, and you're really leaving as well. Because you can't really do anything about that, like they have an evil eye on you and you can't, you can't destroy it. You don't have any utility to get it. So your team is basically just like trying to funnel through areas. If your team wants to take server like this, you have to take square as well. Like you, you can't just keep peeking the same angle, which I'm assuming the Valk's gonna kill you. Cut. Uh, she might have intel on this dirt, this dirt tunnel. Uh, she might th have thrown a Valk cam out, um, or something like that. Ooh, so the server's clear. Now you need to drum blue stairs. Because it's very possible for someone to be on blue stairs. Okay, so the thermite just walks down blue. Okay, so that's good. So you know you have server control now. Now this is where you need to look for Valk cams. Because there's millions of places where the Valk could put her cam in server. And there's close to that um, that she can put them in CC as well. So you, you definitely need to use your IQ scanner. If you want to get better at IQ... The two, the two biggest things I tell people is, um, if you're if you're not in a gunfight or droning, use your IQ scanner. And it's very possible that this this dead vigil could be on one of the Valk cams in server somewhere, somewhere in this room that you just went down in, and this Valk could have pre-fired you because of that, or maybe it was just a lucky pre-fire and she injured you. But you need to definitely be using your IQ scanner, but you could. Because you don't play operators to use their guns, you play them for their utility. You always need to keep that in mind. I'm trying to find a Valkan with my own eyes, and I can't. I can't really see one, but I'm. I'm. I think I can comfortably say that there's going to be a Valkan in that room. Okay, so you're going to go IQ again. You know that the defenders are going to be going CO based off the castle. Um, or at least that that would be my guess. Uh, it is ranked, so it, they could just like go below, uh, like te archive tellers or open area. What is up with that sign? Five seconds before insertion. Yo, the sign is freaking out. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Has it always done that? I don't know. I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> okay, so this is the third round where the defenders have Swan Peak Square. Wow. Okay, so you're going to grab your drone, which is good. Keeping the drone economy good. That's okay, always important. So this time you're looking for the Valkams. You're, you're using your IQ scanner, which is... You learn from your mistakes. That's good. So you find the Valkam, you shoot it. Now do you call it out? I, yeah, you just called it out. Uh, I, I don't think your mic... <clears throat> it's working with, with whatever recording software you you were using, which is fine. I'm not watching. Um, but maybe try to fix that for a future VOD that you want to submit. So you're holding the... Alright, so <clears throat> the biggest thing here, you see the Thermite droning. And I, I mean, you're like the closest person to Thermite uh, for the most part. So you should probably be entry fragging. Um, because you know, you know Thermite's droning. You you have a mic and you're calling out things, so maybe ask the thermite, hey, can you drone me in? I'm going to follow your drone into square. It'd take three seconds, five seconds to say that, whatever. And uh, it, could, it could net your team a free oh, kill. Oh. Uh, lobby. So the jackal lobby. dies off of CO repel. You'd, huh. You should definitely be in with the thermite. And I'm not saying you absolutely have to be in there, but I'm... Yes, yeah. See, some, like, see, if you were in square there, that wouldn't have happened. 
I mean, you have you have a really strong gun. The commando does a lot of damage per bullet. And the fact that this castle just wide swung into a corner that you couldn't see, and it killed the only hard breacher, which was a thermite, um, it, it gave the defenders a free kill. So, but if you were in square with a thermite, that wouldn't have happened. You you probably would have won that gunfight very easily. So definitely understand what map control you need to take in a certain amount of time. If you're going to attack CEO like this from a square take, definitely take control of stock and top square. Those are your two main objectives for the first minute to two minutes of the round. The, the first minute of the round, I should say, not the two min first two minutes. Um, so definitely don't let the thermite drone it and then entry frag as well. You need to be the first person in square, at least. And I'm not saying you absolutely have to be in there, but someone on your team besides the Thermite has to be in square with the Thermite. You can't just let Thermite walk in like that for free um, and then let the castle kill him. Okay, come, come on guys, come try it. Mm. So this is, this is not good. I got you. So the biggest issue with Terrace, which is where you're at right now, this little platform outside, is... If a defender's in stock and another defender is top square, you're in a double crossfire from both areas. So what you should have done here instead was leave the square window closed and you should have taken square because you have two drones. You threw one earlier and then you have one on your person. So you have enough drones to drone yourself in. Um, but now you can't safely drone square because you open the stock window. And the stock door, or the, the square door is already open, so there's no need for you to open this. Is it trading? Two I see there's trading. two people in there. House on door. Drone, I think. Ooh. That's probably an injure. You have points off. Yeah, that was an injure. The doc just stemmed him. So now you're just taking pointless gunfights. You're giving the defenders more time to rotate to the top square and shoot in the back. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You're stuck in a double crossfire and you're forced to take gunfights when you shouldn't have. If you kept the stock window closed, you could have taken top square much safely and more successfully. Um, just because you left a simple window closed. It's a really, really tricky area to take uh, on bank. Down to one friendly. I, I, I want to say this castle killed the Zoe too. No, the Jaeger did. Yep, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's that's the double crossfire that I'm talking about. If the defenders were any sort of smart, um, they would have taken square control and you would have died in the first, like, 10 seconds of you trying to fight this castle in the stock window. Because the castle can sit in stock and bait you the entire round if he wants to. And the defenders can simply go top square and shoot you in the back. How... It, it basically just happened. I mean, if this if you kill this castle, you're still dead because there's two people right behind you and you can't win both those gunfights. So definitely keep the stock window closed if square is already open and vice versa. If stock window is already open and square door is closed, don't open the square door and try to take gunfights on square because the same thing will happen. Someone could rotate stock, shoot you in the back. So um, in that in that scenario... Yeah, like, um, in specific, don't open, don't make it harder for you to hold that area. Because once you open square door and stock window, it becomes extremely difficult to hold terrace. Okay, so you went Valk, you have a smoke. Uh, your team lineup is a little, a little, uh, concerning. So you went Valk, which is... Good, I mean, you're bringing an yeah, intel out. Yeah, I Why am I yawning so much? Oh my goodness. You see a drone. You see a drone. You just saw a drone! You just saw it! It's right in front of you. It's right there! It is... Yeah. No way you didn't shoot that drone! Oh, bro, no way you didn't shoot that drone. It was right in front of you. What is this boss? 
Okay, so... Um, the prep phase was eaten up by you throwing Valkams. So, what you could have done here instead of just, like, running around... In the prep phase, when you pick Valk or when, it, when uh, the operator phase, um, when you're picking your ops, you could have said, hey, I'm going to get open area hatches. So that way, it, it wouldn't have taken you, um, uh, what, like 65 seconds to do all this? Somewhere, somewhere around there? It took you like over a minute just to put down three Valk cams. You haven't even used your two reinforcements yet. So you need to you need to prepare yourself even before the prep phase starts. You need to think about where you're going to put your Valk cams and think about where you're going to reinforce and build those reinforcements around those Valk cams so that way you're not running around the map for over a minute. And I, I'm going to assume that you only use one of your reinforcements. Maybe not. You might not even use one of them. Yeah, so you're not even using your reinforcements. One of these red walls needs to be reinforced. You could reinforce it. You hear them on main stairs. Reaching. Reaching, uh, open area. Okay, so you could flank very easily right now. You could flank very, very easily. Um, not only because... Uh, the Sabana is, is probably alone, but two, the Jaeger said he was going to try to hold down Archive Tellers at the beginning of the round. And thirdly, you have the Habana in open area, and she's uh, hibana the hatches. Now, you didn't hear a Claymore go off anywhere in this area, so you know that's clear. You didn't hear, hear an air jab, and obviously you didn't hear the gridlocks. And the thing with the explosions is... It, you can use it to mask your sound of walking through the barbed wire so the attackers won't even know anyone's flanking. So, you can hear... There's a second set of Habanas going off. Or they, they just went off. So, you, that's the first set, and you hear the second set going off right now. It's going... You can hear it, like, hissing. So, what you should do is... Use that opp opportunity and that moment to walk through the barbed wire when you... Hear the Habanas explode because you you can time it if you play Habana enough. I mean, you kind of know the fuse time of the X Kairos, so you could have easily flanked here instead of holding a passive angle on the cross. Alright, so both the air open area hatches are open now. Exa? Um, and you're just sitting in an elevator. You need, to, yeah, you should well, definitely be watching at least one of the drops. I mean, you. Oh my! You saw, you saw the ash. Oh my God! You, you, you're gonna give me a heart attack. First, you don't shoot. First, you don't shoot drones, and now you just. <laughs> oh man, I'm not, I'm not trying to beat up on you or anything, but you scare me sometimes. Alright, so you get a double refrag off of the dock, which is good. You kill the IQ and the Ash. Um, both of them were either in sight or near it. So you know the last one is probably going to be Habana in open area, so you should be calling that out. It's not main stairs. I don't hear open area. Yeah, it's Habana. Okay, now I open area. Main stairs, main stairs, main stairs. Oh no, Thermite is Thermite. I thought it was, I thought it was Habana based off, her, uh, off the flashbang. Okay, so that, I mean, you played the round well. You played it a little bit too passive in my opinion. Um, you could have definitely flanked, uh, fairly easily up the main stairs, but okay, in the end it worked in your favor, you got two free kills pretty much, so that's good. Um, but definitely don't, don't just sit in the elevator like that, because you have a job to do and an angle to hold. You have to hold main stairs cross and you have to hold the sprinkler hatch from open area. So you definitely, you de definitely need to be holding those, at least one of those angles. Because not <clears throat> not only did you not have an Echo or Maestro or Valkam in Garage, and you, you also didn't have anyone in there. So I'm assuming that's where that IQ came from. Because Ash dropped, no, Twitch dropped Sight. Um, I think she died. 
And then Ash either came from a garage and just crouched walked through. Same with IQ. I'm not really sure where they came from. But you have a job to do. And you have to be holding that cross. Because holding garage is really important. It's kind of it's sort of like holding uh rafters on, on Clubhouse. Like you you need that map control. Because it, if you don't, I mean you can get you can get a lot and you can punish it um on the attacking side. Hey guys. Hey. Hello? Hey, Barricade, um... Oh, just play, connect it all. Don't Barricade that. What did you want, Castle? Five Can you play? Yeah. Front desk? Front desk yeah. meeting. Okay, okay, okay. Keep an eye out for Op 4 attempting to defuse hmm. your So you're bringing barbed wire on Bandit. Do we have somebody with shield? Probably not right. That's good. More barbed wire. You can never go wrong with that. Castle. They opened like meeting wall to watch from Rappel. Oh, it was the wall? I think it was the castle. Oh, that wall. Oh, so you know. Okay, so you know that one is on ATM and one is on parking. Ash? It's an Ash and an IQ. Maybe a, stage, I'm not sure. It, I, you definitely know it's an Ash and someone else. Drone in. They're droning banana hallway now. Drone you look. Yeah, ATMs. Yeah. Bro, this guy's accent Fishing is thick. It's thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. This HXO I guy. Took your ammo. I didn't take mine. Okay. Op 4 has located a bomb. Hmm. Let's see if this castle got the refrag. Nope. Oh, he did. Okay. So that's good. Um, you challenge an angle with a hollow. Uh, now, I mean, it depends on how much confidence you have. Like, if you're going to challenge something, you have to challenge it 100%. You can't, you can't half-ass it. You held an angle on the buck, which gave him a free kill because you pretty much walked right into his crosshair. So you need to wide swing that instead of just like holding holding an angle on it because once you hold an angle uh it becomes a lot more likely for the attacker to win the gunfight because not only do they have the ACOG but um they're the one who made the angle and they're making it for a reason and they're most likely going to be holding it so you pretty much just walked right into the buck's crosshair Okay, so you're going bandit again, you have barbed wire. I'm not sure where you put your barbed wire down. But I'm just gonna focus on your gameplay right now, not your utility placement. Oh, well, that... That's Siri. Are you gonna die from this? Yeah, that was risky. You can get an angle to that doorway, by the way, from ATM. So, barricading that... 30 seconds into the round is not... It's not good. Plus, you already have barbed wire there. There's no reason for you to barricade it. it really isn't. I mean, as long as long as you're not sh like seen by that doorway, you sh you'll, be, you'll be fine. No need to barricade it. The doc nope. dies in CO, and you die from an IQ bottom square. Hmm. Well, I found that. All right. One thing that I'm noticing about the way you play is you don't pay attention to where your team is and isn't. 
That's one that's one thing that I noticed when you were Valkyrie downstairs in the elevator or near it when he killed the Ash in the IQ. You're kind of just like walking around aimlessly and not really like thinking of where the attackers could be. From my understanding, Doc is the only one upstairs, well. at least on this side of the map over here. So if if I were you in this situation, well, what does that tell me? Well, the Doc just died from the Ash somewhere square. So that tells me that the attackers are most likely going to come from square side. So I'm not going to put myself in a corner, which is where you're going to cross to, where you literally can't rotate out. Like, if you go in this corner and, like, safely, and you get droned or whatever, you where can you go? Like, what do you, you have to take a gunfight on the door or the window. Um, over here, the window. So, think about where your team is. So... Most of your team is either in sight or banana side upstairs. So that would tell you, okay, no one is taking the gunfights on sight or banana side. So that would tell me um, that they're going to come from square side because the doc just died there and I have teammates on the opposite side of the map and no one's, I don't hear any gunshots from there. So don't just walk around the map and just kind of like pay, pay attention to where your teammates are. Because that will tell you a lot about the round and where the attackers are coming from and what they want to attack. I found the ash. So you just kind of die. Yeah. That was not the play. So I'm going to pause it there because I'm not going to review the rest, of the rest of the VOD. Because I'm assuming that you're going to be dead the rest of the round and you guys win the game anyway. So there's no more VOD for me, for me to review. But to give you a conclusion to... Uh, the VOD and to help you out um, on attack definitely be a little bit more thorough with your droning uh, especially with the round like where Jaeger killed you in open area um, and maybe maybe ask a little bit more from your teammates I only saw your mic pop up on the right side a few times now obviously I can't hear you but I was paying attention to when like the people um, that were talking like the uh, the little message like the name of the person that's talking I was paying attention to that, and I only saw your name pop up a few times, which I'm assuming was just call-outs. But you need to be a little bit more vocal with that, uh, those kind of things. Because you could, like, for for example, the round where Jaeger killed you in open area when he was sitting behind that desk. You could have asked someone to take open area with you, and that probably wouldn't have happened because instead of two people, dro or one person droning, which was you, it could have been two people droning, and you probably would have drawn the Jaeger out. And it would have happened much faster. So an attack... Uh, definitely ask for help if you need it and be more vocal in what you're doing um, and what you need help with uh, or asking someone to use a utility in a certain spot. And with defense, the biggest thing I can tell you is pay attention to where your teammates are at. I know I just said it, but pay attention because you're, you're kind of just like walking around, meleeing stuff, not pre-aiming, not... Uh, not Yeah, not pre-aiming and just, just kind of like walking around aimlessly with no goal or, or objective in your head. So pay attention to where your team is at. Um, and with that being said, uh, I hope this VOD will help you out. Um, I truly do. There were very, not, there were mistakes, but not as many as some, some other people. So just keep playing the game. Um, take those tips that I said to you, uh, watch the VOD a few times if you need to. Um, maybe you catch something new that I did that you didn't catch the first time you watched and apply the things that I said to yourself and you will become a better player. Um, I wish you the best. I hope, uh, I hope to see a VOD from you in the future, an updated VOD, um, to see how much you've improved. And yeah, so with all of that out of the way, as I said before in the beginning of the video, there are links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, as well as my tip video playlist. Make sure you guys go check out those links below. I appreciate the support. As well as uh, hit that subscribe button and that like button. It is greatly appreciated. I put a lot of time and energy into these videos. Um, and I know you guys enjoy this series, so support your boy a little bit. Um, and yeah, with all that, I hope this video helped you out in some way. Uh, gave you some new insight, maybe some new ideas towards the game. And I will see you guys in the next video.